Hey guys, I'm just making this quick video because in my other 3D scanning videos, people always ask, can I shoot video and just use the frames instead of taking pictures? Well, now Reality Capture actually accepts video as an input. So I tested it with a short video of this stump. I shot with my Note 9 phone and set the video quality as high as it will go. While shooting, I tried not to make any sudden movements that might cause any motion blur. So here you can quickly see the video that I shot, and then we'll see how it works in Reality Capture. So here we are in Reality Capture, and I've got my photos up here that I shot, but along with those is that video clip. So let's just drag that over into the 2D's panel and we'll get a pop-up called import video sequence and it tells you it'll be split into frames and then imported into the application so you can set the jump lengths which I guess is the uh, amount of space between the frames that it keeps uh, I just left it at the default and then it'll create a, a folder for the frames so I'll just click OK and it goes pretty quick and there we go that took less than a minute and we've got all of our frames up here and then I'll just go to align images And there we go. Uh, we'll need to be adjusted for where the ground plane is. So we'll go to reconstruction and define ground plane. And then I can just use the gizmo to rotate it. Ignore my neighbor's dog if you can hear him. <laughs> so we'll go something like that. Okay, and then I will go to set reconstruction region and I'll set it automatically. Then I can grab these points and bring them in. because we don't really need all that extra stuff on the outside. And I'm just going to click on that edge again and bring this up a little bit just to make sure I'm not cutting it off. Alright, and then we're set. I can go ahead back to workload and this is a pretty small model so I'm just gonna go ahead and calculate the high quality and I'll pause the video and come back when it's done okay there we go it took just over two two minutes or so and we can take a look at it and looks pretty good Double click to change the center pivot there. Okay, so let's add a texture. I'll just click the texture button. This should also go pretty quick. Okay, there we go, exactly two minutes. So we got our finished scan here from a video and it looks really good. Let's zoom in, see some of those details. You even got that little bit of bark that's sticking out here. 
Yeah, it came out really nice. So there you go. In less than five minutes, you've got a scan and you're ready to come up to your workflow and export the mesh. So that's it. If you liked this video, please subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and all that good stuff.